So in this video, we'll cover a very important topic called as responsible AI. Microsoft pays a lot of attention to this and consider a lot about it. And there would be many questions in the exam covering this topic because the topic is very important. So there are six principles. Uh, let's read them one by one. And this is one of the simplest uh, portion in this AI, but it's very important with AI coming into picture. We are using it daily and in our day-to-day -day life at various places. So we should be careful because it is the artificial intelligence, right? It can be, uh, it should not make decisions which can impact these things. So let's read one by one. So what is fairness about? Fairness is there should not be any discrimination, right? So let's say you are approving a loan, right? So you should not approve that which gender is asking for a loan, whether a black person or a white person or a particular ethnicity, right? Even if the, the there is data present on internet like that, right? Your models might have learned from it. So you should be very much careful while testing your models that that your AI model or whatever tool, something you have created using AI, right? It should not make any discrimination. So that's about fairness. So everybody is treated equally. It should not make, okay, if somebody's injured, let's give them preference, right? Loan approval should not happen on the basis of this. So that is uh, what fairness. So basically no discrimination that talks about is fairness, right? Second one comes is reliability and safety, right? You see that Tesla has cars with our, which are self-driven, right? So it can it uses AI, let's say, right? But uh, we cannot say that since it's created by AI, it can do anything, right? It should be reliable and safe. So it should produce consistent results, right? Because we have cars and sometimes if doctors are using it, right? It should give correct diagnosis, right? It should not like that. It, it tells about a person who is not having a disease and you are telling it. So the system sh should be reliable, right? It's not that uh, we are using it and it can do anything. It can cause any harm. It can detect wrong things, right? So that's about uh, reliability and safety. And then comes private privacy and security that your data should not be leaked anywhere, right? that uh, customer can control over data that whatever data, how is it treated? How is it going on, right? Uh, for example, let's say there is, uh, let's say there is a medical model that has been prepared based on uh, the historical data, right? But you cannot leak the personal data. You cannot tell, okay, the person X who is living at Y place was having the disease Z, right? So this data should be handled in a very careful manner so that, uh, your uh, like because you are training models right so the data can get leaked we saw uh, in news that there were some companies data that got uh, uh, that got into the model and it was exposed right so we should be very much careful about the privacy and security of the data right next come inclusiveness right so you might get uh, sometimes confused between these two as these two appear a little closer fairness and inclusiveness Inclusiveness is more about that, including everybody, right? So for example, let's say you are designing a software. So what uh, this is that you can, you should try to design for the people, uh, let's say who are disabled, who have some uh, inability to do things. If you design for them, it will automatically be designed for the rest of the people, right? So in, do include those people so that uh, they can also use it. So if, if there are uh, like, for example, this is one of the one kind, of, one kind of questions can come that, right? You are taking care of uh, disabled people like who are having hearing or visual things, right? Impairments. So that is what inclusiveness is about. Fairness is no discrimination, right? So, but here it's about including everybody. So this is the inclusiveness principle. Now comes transparency. So transparency is that uh, you should have enough documentation that you can tell how your model works, right? It's not that because uh, it's done by AI, you don't know things. So you should you should upfront sh share that these are the limitation, right? Your model might not be trained on 100% of data, right? So if there are any gray areas, you should tell that and you should know how it works, right? So there are, uh, there are various articles on internet where people have said that we should be able to predict how a particular solution came upon, right? By following which, which steps. That's why 
in the starting we saw that that we create an algorithm and it uh, comes to the output right so it should be trans and we should it should be explainable right that you should be able to explain that how the model is working so that is about uh, transparency and then comes accountability right somebody should uh, be accountable if a model fails or if it is doing wrong prediction right so all of these things are if you see a little bit related transparency is about that uh, you are telling things right things are you are not hiding anything right you will not tell that okay we train model model only on the data of only asian people right or we can say only african people right so if you have done that in a particular thing for a particular thing so you should be transparent about it you should tell all the things uh, like which which are being used for creating that model right accountability is like that humans can always overwrite right so for example the example i gave you like let's say we create a model by which we check it out that people are diabetic or not right so even though the model uh, gives that answer but let's say it's not reliable only the reliability is or reliability is there but the precision or accuracy is 60% right so humans are there who will take the decision in such cases because the predictive uh, because the accuracy of the model is uh, not that good right and that's why uh, like there there are governance or organization principles which are to be taken care right so different uh, companies have various internal principles right they should not be uh, overridden right so that's what accountability is about so these are the six uh, responsible ai principles for which many questions will come and in general also uh, you should be aware about it with the introduction of ai hope you like it